Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a sort of number puzzle. It says that there are seven batsmen. They hit at least one six in each of the matches and uh, four match series. And this table gives the total number of sixes and the difference between the maximum and the minimum number of sixes hit in a single match. And it also gives that uh, each player hit a distinct number of sixes in the four matches he played. Okay. Now, uh, how to find out the minimum and maximum is, uh, see, uh, like one way is like you do by hit and trial. Okay. But how to get a better hit and trial? I'll tell you a method. Now, uh, if we see that there are four matches. Okay, so uh, if you divide by 4, you get the average number. Okay, so if I divide 20 by 4, the average number is going to be 5, right? The maximum and minimum should be, uh, the difference between maximum and minimum should be 4. Okay, so uh, like 5 should be the central number. So 5 should somewhere be around the central number and you add it to like 4, the difference is 4, okay. So, 4 ka half kita hoongi 2. So, like central is, central number is this and this should be the, difference should be 4. So, 2 here, 2 here. So, that's how you get the rough estimate, okay. It is not mentioned that these are consecutive numbers, but you get a rough estimate. So, this gives us the number as 3 and 7. So, let us check. 3 and 7 will give us 10 okay and uh, we need to make 10 more now these are distinct numbers right so we cannot make 5 and 5 so we will make 4 and 6 so this is how you do a well calculated hidden trial it is hidden trial only but in a very logical now 13 by 6 uh, we get an average somewhere around uh, 2 point something and the difference is 6, right? Now you would say that if 2, uh, like, sorry, if 3 is the central number and you take 3 this side and 3 this side, which is not possible, okay? So that is just, a, uh, that is just to estimate the range. So we can take 1 here, right? So let us take 1 here because 3 minus 3 is not possible, okay? So 1 and 7. Now we are left with 5, well, 5 more values. So 5 can be uh, made by 2 plus that is 5. So, this is how you can estimate in a smarter way. Now, for Virat, uh, if we take 13 and the difference is 5. So, 5 means 1 and 6 we can take. Now, you can try with 2 and 8 also or 2 and 7 also. You may not be able to get it. So, if we try let us say 2 and 7, we get a total 9. We are left with 4. So, we cannot fit 1 and 3 like this because this is the minimum, this is the maximum. So, ultimately we will get this values like 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 7, which again makes it wrong, okay. So, the values would be 1 and 6. Now, we have total is 7. We need to put 6 more values. So, we can put 2 and 4 that adds to 6 and the total becomes 13. So, this is the biggest factor in finding the 4 numbers because it might take a lot of time to, to find the 4 numbers. This is the way how you can find it in a very logical way and get the correct guess. Of course, there will be some approximations and which you can easily do. Otherwise, if you uh, do randomly, let you start with 1 here, you would have taken 1 to, one to 5, then you would have taken 2 to 6. So that would have taken more time. So, Sanju, if we see that this is 14 and 5, so 14 means somewhere around 3.5 and 5 means 2.5. So, let us try with 1 and 6 and see that if that fits. Okay, 1 and 6 means total is 7. Now, total is 7, we have to add 7 more. So, we can make 2 and 4, 2 and 5, that adds to 7. Okay, now if you think that 1 and 6 is 7, we have to have 7, we can also make 3 plus 4 is also 7. So, one another possibility is 1, 3, 4, 6. Now, if you want to try with 2 and 7, 2 plus 7 gives you 9. Now, we cannot put 5 with two numbers like either you put one four or two three this is not possible because repeat if you take one four this becomes the minimum so this is not possible similarly let us do for hardik 
हार्दिक है सेट सेवेंटीन सो द एवरेज कम्स अराउंड फोर फोर से वन पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट इट कैन बी इधर वन और इट कैन बी टू ऑल्सो सो लेट एस टेक टू लेट्स टेक लाइक लेट्स थिंक ऑफ वन इफ यू पुट वन 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 एंड सिक्स दैट गिवस एस ओनली सेवन सेवन एंड वी हैव टू एड टेन मोर इन दिस नाउ टेन मोर मीन्स टू एट इज नॉट पॉसिबल थ्री सेवन इज नॉट पॉसिबल फोर सिक्स इज नॉट पॉसिबल फाइव फाइव इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो वन एंड सिक्स इज नॉट पॉसिबल इफ यू पुट टू एंड सेवन टू प्लस सेवन इज नाइन वी हैव टू मेक एट सो एट इज वी कैन नॉट टेक वन टू वी कैन थ्री 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 प्लस फाइव इज एट Now we cannot take four because four will as four will come. Now if we take three and eight, three and eight is seven is eleven. So we cannot make six within these two. Now coming to Rishabh, now seventeen and the difference is six. We can take one and seven. Okay, if we take one and seven, we get eight. We have to put nine. Nine can be uh, three plus six. Nine can also be four and five. Sorry, this is seven. Nine can be made like this. Now, let us in this case, uh, we can also consider another scenario, which is two plus eight. Okay, two plus eight. If we consider, we we are done with ten. We need to put seven more. So for seven, we can have three plus four. Which is seven. We cannot have any other value. If we take three and nine, we are done with twelve. We cannot put five more values in the given two possible places. Now for Surya, it will be easy because just a difference of three. So average comes about four point five. So one and a half, one and a half each side. If you take, so you get three to six. So take three, four, five, six. That is the easiest way to get these numbers. Okay, so this is the number of values that we will get. What is the minimum number of sixes hit by Hardik in a match? Hardik, the minimum is two. For how many players can we uniquely determine the number of sixes by them in all the four matches? Okay, so we can dis dis <coughs> determine for all except these two players, Sanju and Rishabh. So all but two. Which of the following cannot be the number of sixes hit by Shubman in a match? So Shubman hit one, two, three, or seven sixes. He did not hit four sixes in any of the matches. What is the maximum possible number of sixes hit by any of these batsmen in a single match? So maximum possibility can be eight if this case comes into picture, right? So in other ways, you will say that six is seven is definitely. But if this case is applicable, then the maximum can go up to eight also. Okay, so it is asking the maximum possible. It is not saying that which is definitely the maximum. If it said definitely, so uh, definitely it would be seven. But in one case, it is eight is also possible. If exactly four batsmen hit two sixes each in a particular match, what would be the minimum number of sixes hit by these players combined in that match? Okay, so uh, like if four of them hit two sixes in a match, now which of these cannot be those people? Surya cannot be that person, and Rohit cannot be this person. Okay, now four of these should hit two sixes in a, in a particular match. Okay, so what we can have is uh, now we can have. Uh, this, 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 and this. These four can have. So any four we can pick. Okay, any four. If we see, we can have uh, any of those four people hitting two sixes. Right. If we take, let us say, if we consider this Rishab scenario, we can take Rishab and any other three out of these. Right. So any of this can be picked. Now the question is, we have to minimize the number of sixes hit by these total players. So what we can do is see three plus three six is fixed. For two players, we can have eight. Uh, like uh, if people hit two sixes each, we will have eight more sixes, and one remaining person we will minimize. Let us say these four people hit uh, two sixes each. 
so we will take this case and take it one if we take uh, these four people let us say one two three four so we will take this as one six because we have to minimize the number but we cannot take hardik in that case because if you take these four people to two sixes each and hardik to that that increases the minimum value so minimum possible is when these two will definitely hit three sixes four of them will hit two sixes and one of them will hit one six so the total minimum possible number of sixes in that match is 15. so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions